but I knew that it was going to be a tough job. And I think that anything important, anything, anything that's meaningful is going to take hard work. And, and that's why um, I'm, up, I'm up for it. went around the table and talked about the, the stories that, that people living in the communities across Canada are, are faced with, like the struggles they're faced with. Like how can we fix those problems? How do we Im immediately implement a national housing plan to get funding into building new houses and to ensure that people have access to homes? Make sure that we've got a NAFTA that negotiates a fair deal for workers and make sure they've got a bright future. So these are the things we want to talk about. He has not to date retracted that public attack of someone who was found to have harassed. And he has not shown to me any clear path that he understands the implication and the, and the impact of his behavior. And I cannot in good conscience uh, allow that to happen in, in a place that I am the leader in. For the people that work for me to set a good example for good workplaces, I've made a clear decision and I'm sticking with it. The fear or the threat of the notwithstanding clause being used regularly is something that causes great concern for me. And I think it's not enough to say we believe in the charter. I think it's time to, to actually bring experts together to talk about the, the routine use of the notwithstanding clause and how that would impact rights for Canadians. There's a really important discussion around what our public spaces should look like. Our public spaces should be places that are inclusive, that, that bring people together. And so in public places, maybe we need to rethink what a public space looks like so that it is inclusive. And our history is important. It's important to remember what happened. And maybe there's a place for history in museums. Well, I'm worried about the fact that people, people are, are faced with so many problems and they're faced with, with concerns. I mean, people are worried about uh, health care. And so, I mean, I'm not worried about my future. I'm worried about the future of that young person that, or that elderly uh, couple that's saying that we can't afford medication. We can't afford, medi afford the medication we need to live. And uh, without uh, something like a universal pharmacare, uh, we can't see how we're going to make ends meet. I'm worried about that. I'm not worried about my future. I'm worried about their future.